think I might have overfilled this. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I need like some flavor. Good morning guys. It is currently Monday and I am up early. I'm headed off to a doctor's appointment. I am headed off to another OB appointment. So yesterday was a bit of a scary day essentially. So I'm just going to tell you guys what happened. I don't know anything yet. That's why I'm headed off to the doctor. But deep down I think that everything is okay. Yesterday was a different story. So essentially I woke up yesterday and I went to the bathroom, had my morning pee. Peeing is a whole other story. I pee like five times during the night now. Um, and I wiped and I had blood. And it wasn't like dark red, it wasn't gushing blood. It was more of like a rusty color, but it did fill up the whole toilet paper. And I was like, that shock <clears throat> factor kind of came over me. And I was like, oh my gosh. To the point where I just texted a picture of it to my mom. I was like, is this normal? <laughs> like, But the problem was, is I hadn't had any bleeding or spotting or anything this entire pregnancy, not even during implantation. So it worried me. My battery is dying, which is inconvenient. So let me switch that really quick and then we'll continue on with the story. So anyways, I texted my mom and she was like, I would definitely check in with your doctor. That never happened to me during my pregnancy. However, every pregnancy is different and I do know that some people do spot during pregnancy. However, it was very out of the blue for me and... I was like, I need to talk to the doctor now. And then I had that panic. Which doctor do I call? Do I call my fertility clinic or do I call my OB? And it's like, wait, I'm done with my fertility clinic. I need to move on and I need to call my OB. And then the panic up, it's freaking Sunday hit me. So I just called the number and actually I was so... <sighs> Honestly, I'm just going to be honest. I was so worked up <clears throat> about it that I started like shaking and then I was like I can't remember this doctor's name I can't remember where the clinic or the doctor is I can't I couldn't I wasn't processing correctly and I was like oh my gosh take a deep breath take a deep breath like remain calm and then I finally just googled where the location of the doctor was because I couldn't even think correctly and then I called and they said thank god you know but I called and they said if this is an emergency or something out of the blue or whatever, I forget what it said, stay in line and somebody will be with you. And I was like, okay, that's great. So I explained what had happened and she said that my doctor was on call that day so that he would be getting in touch with me. So he did get in touch with me about a half hour after I had called and said, let me read it to you guys. <clears throat> he kind of put me at ease because I was just completely in a panic. He said, good morning. This is the doctor. We'll see you tomorrow around 10 o'clock in the office. We'll do a quick scan. But me, I was like, to me, it was, it was like, it was way worse than that at that time. And I was panicking and I said, okay, so you don't think there's any immediate concerns. I have mild cramping. I'm still bleeding. Um, it is rusty colored. It's not bright red. And he said, that is what we'll find out tomorrow. I'm hoping everything will be fine. The other option would be, would be to go to the emergency room now and find out. I said, whatever you think is best. He said, I know you'll be nervous until you find out, but better tomorrow. Is there a better time for you than 10 a.m.? And I said, 10 is perfect. So he kind of put me at ease because he didn't seem like it was a severe, we need to go to the ER right now. So I'm like, okay. So yesterday I literally kind of like couch rested, bed rested myself. And I just did absolutely nothing other than eat healthy foods, <laughs> drink lots of water, stay calm and sit on the couch. So today is the day that we're going. I'm just praying to God that everything is fine. I did brown bleed throughout the whole day yesterday. That's what I'm going to call it, like rusty colored the whole day, but not enough that <clears throat> it was like filling a pad. It was just like it wouldn't even go in my panty liner. Here's the thing, guys. It was like essentially every time I went to the bathroom and wiped, it was there, but it was never enough to transfer onto a panty liner or a pad. So that's also a plus. So I'm hoping everything's okay. I prayed a lot yesterday. Larry prayed a lot yesterday. My mom did. My best friend Angela did. Hillary did. Like it was just like a day of God, please protect this baby. Please make sure everything is okay. It was one of those days. So I feel slightly calm. 
but I just, I just need to know. So we're going to head to the doctor, confirm like baby is okay. There's still a heartbeat. Everything is good. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And we're also going to, hopefully it's going to be a good day. That's all we want. If this vlog is, if this is not a good day, I don't know. And we're not even going to go there. Anyways, let's get ready to head to the doctor and we'll see what they say. Okay, we have made it. Today is a beautiful day. I'm going in with great positive vibes. I have prayed all the way here. I think everything is gonna be okay. Um, and today is a beautiful day. It is sunny, there's blue skies. We've been like 30 degrees in Florida, which I know is not nearly as cold as what you guys have been up north. But for Florida guys, 30 degrees, that doesn't happen very often. I mean, we had freeze and everything else like that, like a hard freeze, so that is, that was interesting. I don't think we've ever had one of those since we've been here. Uh, we've been here for five years. We've had frost and stuff like that, but I don't think we've actually dropped below. It was actually like 27 degrees here <clears throat> overnight, so that's crazy. But today is beautiful. We're supposed to be 60 degrees today, so that's nice. Look at me rambling about the weather because I'm actually nervous about my appointment. This is what's happening, guys. I'm talking to you guys about the weather. Okay, all right. Let's just go inside. I have to pee really bad. I don't know what kind of ultrasound they're doing. He said a quick ultrasound. I hope they're doing the regular on the stomach ultrasound and not that little device. I don't know if he actually remembers who I am because I'm sure he has a ton of patients, but that little device does not work for me because I have a retroverted uterus. So I hope we're all in the same, like we're all on the same page with what I need today. And I'm going to verbalize that. And <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> Guys, I'm back. Baby is perfectly fine. I got to see the heartbeat. I got to hear the heartbeat. Everything is okay. We're going to call Larry first and then I'm going to explain and my mom just to let them know because I know they've been really worried. So I'm going to call them, let them know, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about the appointment. <sighs> I'm so relieved. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, babe. Hi, Mink. How are you? Baby is perfectly fine. Yay, good baby. Baby's heartbeat is strong. I got to hear it, too, which was nice. And baby is moving around in there. Everything is just fine. It was such a relief to see that heartbeat fluttering at 90 miles per hour, I'll tell you that. And it was fun to hear it. I haven't really got to hear it yet. So that was fun. Yay. Did you get any pictures? No, because it was just the... um. She used a handheld, which was bigger than the one, but um, no pictures. It was just like a check to make sure, uh, but <clears throat> all is well. But I'm going to call mom because I know she's worried, so. Okay, Minky, you be safe. And did you want anything from Publix, hon? Because I'm going to step yeah, off there. If they have grape or peach water and if they have chocolate ice cream. Propel and chocolate ice cream. All right, hon. Love you. I love Minky. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh. What a day. Thank God. Yesterday was terrible. Today is beautiful. <sighs> I'm sorry. The person you were trying to reach has... My guess is mom is in a, in a meeting. Oh. I'm calling my mom apparently now. Which I was going to anyways. Hello? Hi, mom. mom. Hi, honey. Baby, on? baby is perfectly fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> Thank God. I prayed all night for that baby. Me, Me too. I'm so glad. Me too. I, I talked to Dorothy and she said she spotted with one of hers too like that. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit so, better. I mean, it, it's, it's sort of a normal <clears throat> thing. Some women do and some don't, you know? Yeah. It was Naturally, just... Naturally, you would be one that did. Of course I would, <laughs> you know? Kind of lay around and watch TV. I will. <laughs> okay. Love you. Honey. Love you bye, too, bye. my mom. Bye. Okay, so about the appointment. So I went in, I ended up seeing my nurse practitioner for the first time instead of my doctor, which I'm fine with, and she was so, so sweet. She's like, is it okay if you see me? And I'm like, of course it is. She was just, her energy put me at ease. So that was really nice. 
Um, they did do a handheld, but it was a bigger handheld than what the doctor tried to use on me uh, the first time I went in and immediately I could see the baby and I could see that little flutter. She pointed it out to me, but I could see it because I know what to look for now, especially with going to the fertility clinic so much. Um, so that just seeing that really quick flutter, I, it was like <sighs> a weight had been lifted off and I was so excited to see that. And she's like, we're going to take a listen as well. She was also looking for other things. I forget what it's called. It's a, like a something hematoma, a something, hem I don't know. But anyway, she didn't see any signs of that that was causing the bleeding, which is good. Um, and then we got to listen to the baby's heartbeat, which was so fun. So anyways, I'm so relieved. I'm so thankful. And the prayers were nonstop yesterday from Larry and I and from family and our friends. So just such a big relief. <sighs> we can move on. And I know that baby is well. And now we're going to head off to Publix. I want to stop at the grocery store. I have so much food in the refrigerator. I have food in the pantry, but I don't have any fresh fruit. That's one of the things that I'm going through so quickly. And you guys know fresh fruit kind of goes off like in a week, um, but I'm going through it. I have two bananas left, but they're soft. And when it gets to that point, I just cut them up and I freeze them and then I toss them in smoothies. So we're going to head off, get some fresh fruit. You guys also heard Larry once Propel and chocolate ice cream. I have everything written down and then I am going to head home. I am supposed to be taking it easy. They don't want me lifting things. They don't want me doing anything like that. And um, I do need to do some laundry, so I might have Larry help me carry the baskets. Thank God for Larry and him helping me with things like that. So, anyways, I'm going to text um, Angela and Hillary and my friend Jackie. Let them all know that everything is okay. And I'm also going to send a text to my mom because I don't want her to worry about the call and then she's not knowing what's going on. So, I'm going to send some messages out and then we're going to head to Publix. made it home. I finished my grocery shopping and now I want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Green Chef. You guys know I've been working with Green Chef for quite a while, mostly through last year and again through this year, which I'm so excited about. I had this salad. I technically made it yesterday when I was not in the mood to film like a day in the life vlog, but I did film the food. It was the most delicious salad. Let me get it. Here it is the Mediterranean black bean salad. That is what I made, and I am so excited to share it with you guys and show you how I did it. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. We're changing the meal subscription game with options for every lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean and gluten free. This month I did decide to do vegetarian and I am so happy I did and I'll probably stick out that way at least through this pregnancy because I really haven't been craving meat. Meat is a bit of a difficult thing for me to eat right now as I am 11 weeks pregnant for some reason. It's just not going well. So this vegetarian, the vegetarian meals saved me and they were so good, so amazing. That's the really fun thing about Green Chef is they give you the cards here so you have options to pick different meals each month. And what happens is they give you pre-portioned ingredients in a bag straight to your door. And there's step-by-step -step instructions on the back that are very easy to follow. And on the front, it tells you the cook time so you can gauge what you need to do for the evening or if you're making it for lunch, you can figure out how much time you have. Green Chef has given me a code to share with you guys in case you would like to give them a try. Go to greenchef.com and use code MindyMinx130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. What's really nice is Green Chef does give you the option to switch what you would like, such as how I went from paleo to vegetarian. You can switch at any time. And it's so convenient to have Green Chef show up right at your front door. All you do is unpack it, put everything in the fridge, and then take a look at your menus and figure out what you're gonna cook for the evening. So let me show you guys what all I have for the vegetarian options. So I have the barbecue ranch cauliflower bowls, which look amazing. And then, as I said, the Mediterranean black bean salad. And then, oh my gosh, look at this soup. This is the white bean soup with basil. I've heard it pronounced two ways, pastu and pesto. 
I'm not sure. You guys let me know if I pronounced it right. Hopefully I did, but that looks so delicious and I cannot wait to make it. So again, if you guys would like to give Green Chef a try, go to greenchef.com and use code MindyMinks130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Thank you so much Green Chef for sponsoring this video. And with that being said, I have unpacked all of my groceries. So I am going to show you guys what I picked up. I told you guys I wanted some fresh produce and some fruits. And then I walked away with some other things, but not too much. We didn't do too much unnecessary things. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, we're going to start here with this beautiful loaf of, I'm guessing, well, it says sourdough, but it's a sourdough five grain bread made from scratch daily. And when I've picked up sourdough before at Publix, I can't even taste the sourdough. It's not sour at all. So I'm hoping this one will be, we'll see. I picked up some bananas and the reason I picked up this loaf was for avocado toast, which I have not had since maybe the very, very beginning of this pregnancy. I've only been craving like fruits and sweet things in the morning. So I'm excited to give that a go again. And then we have bananas. We have peaches and kiwis, green onions or chives. Are these green onions? Yeah, they're green onions. Um, I add these to all of my soups. And also I've been using these for tacos instead of using a regular onion. We have another big thing of spinach because I'm going through it like crazy because again, I'm adding it to soups and smoothies, lemons, white mushrooms, which I picked up for the sole purpose of this pizza. Okay, you guys know I'm in love with the pizza from Target, but I'm, I wasn't going all the way out to Target, so, and I'm craving pizza, so I just grabbed this one. It's the Publix brand. It's a stone-baked crust pizza, five cheese with provolone, white cheddar, mozzarella, asiago, and parmesan. We'll give it a try um, and see how it is. And then these were buy one, get one free, which is an amazing deal on nuts. So I picked up the sea salt oven roasted almonds and then just the whole natural almonds. And then for like car rides or when I go places, it's always good to keep something in my bag in case I get sick hungry. So I picked up the Kind Simple Crunch Oat and Honey granola bars and then the Kind and Simple Crunch peanut butter. And then I picked up this as like a cereal if I wanted it, a topping for my I can't think of the word, yogurt. So this is the Great Grains, Clusters, Pecans, and Flakes. I'm using it more so as a granola topper. So I'm excited about that. Oh, I've never tried these. These are the Boar's Head Kosher Dill Pickle Spears. We have potatoes. I wanna roast some potatoes in the oven and make like low to baked potatoes. We have an onion. The Chobani Zero Sugar Mixed Berry Flavor. I never really get berry flavored yogurts. These are in the single serve cups. Um, so I picked up those to give a try. And then I also picked up my tub of the Chobani Zero Sugar Vanilla. I don't usually get the zero sugar. I usually get the cinnamon. It's like a lower sugar cinnamon vanilla, but they didn't have it. So grabbed that one. These green grapes looked delicious. Grab some of those. Larry requested some chocolate ice cream. Here's my avocados that are, they look ripe. They are not, they are solid rocks. So they need to sit out a little bit. My favorite cherry tomatoes, the sugar bombs. And then we also have delicious Florida grown strawberries. And next to them was this, this chocolate dip. Original, no artificial colors, no high fructose corn syrup. And then, you know, they did that on purpose, you know, sticking these right next to these. So I couldn't help it and I grabbed them and I'm very excited that I did. So that is my haul. And now, oh, I also picked up Q-tips because we were in need. The bounce free and gentle dryer sheets because static is insane. I don't know if it's because it's winter and it's cold and I don't know. So I got those. I also picked up these. This is the Lint and Pet Hair Guard. This one does have a scent. For this one, I usually use for my like bath towels and face towels and stuff like that. You know, most of the time, honestly, I do use scent free. Like my detergent is scent free. Um, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a scent and then the pet hair because, you know, we do have kitties and some of my leggings literally cling every single pet hair known to man. So see if those work. And the last thing is Hall's Relief menthol one. So I'm going to put this all away. What was that? Big bird just landed in the yard. I'm going to put these away and then I am going to make, oh, dang it. I was Aw, I was so in the mood to have an avocado toast. 
toast with that sourdough bread, but these are so... No, it can't happen. Those are so hard. That is not going to happen. Anyways, we'll figure out what we're going to have for lunch, but it's not going to be avocado toast, which is disappointing because that's what I really want, which is crazy because like I said, I haven't wanted that at all this entire pregnancy until now. And I'm in such a happy mood now. I couldn't even like, I, I'm sure you guys understand like such a better mood and it's sunny and beautiful, which I was saying before my appointment, but it's to a whole nother level. What's the matter? Luna's spazzing out. Luna? Luna, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's the matter? Look how beautiful the pool looks, guys. The sun on it. Little Lexi's over there on her crate. Luna is stalking, which you guys can barely see because it's so dark where the sun's at, but look at this pool. Look at these gorgeous pickles. So excited. Larry's not thrilled. Oh, that's a baby pickle. Well, that's okay. I guess we're having a baby pickle. So they do smell a little strong of garlic and I'm not a huge fan when they're overly garlic. So we'll see, but they, um, they look really good. I've been at my computer for a while. I've been editing. However, I didn't show you guys what I had for lunch. So I essentially I just had leftovers, boring leftovers in the fridge, but the pickle, the pickles were delicious little bit on the verge of garlicky, but not, not too much. Cause I've had pickles that were super, super duper garlicky. So they're really good. I mean, good enough that I would purchase them again. So that's exciting. I'm also starting to get a weird headache. Luckily it's on the right side. It's not the left side. The left side are usually migraines and they start here, but this one is starting here in my temple and down my neck, which is the same spot as the migraines on the left. But I usually don't get my migraines on the right. So but I'm getting a headache, which is lame. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I'm currently editing the one you guys are watching now and it's about 22 minutes in length as we speak. I'm currently going through and adding music, which a lot of you guys ask me about my music and where I get it. I have an account with Epidemic Sounds and that's where I get all of my music from. And I am, sometimes I can spend a whole day just on finding new music like I'm currently in that transition of trying to find springy type music um so that's what I was not what I was doing today but that's what I can spend up to a day doing I'm a very seasonal music kind of person so that was oh, oh yo almost forgot a big thing to talk to you guys about this show on Netflix the woman I'm not gonna say it right because the title is heck long it is so long the woman I'm gonna try it the woman in the house across the street from the woman in the window. Did I just get it? Did I just get it? The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. Dang it. Okay. So <coughs> Larry and I, okay. So we started watching it one night over the weekend and we watched the first four episodes and I texted my mom at like 9 30 PM. And I was like, you have got to watch this show. This show is so good. So she texts me the next morning. I finished the show and I'm like, how did you finish that show from 9.30 p.m. till the next morning? Well, anyway, she did. And she was like, it's incredible. So then Larry and I finished it the next day. Oh my gosh, it is mind blowing. It is brutal. It's dark, by the way. So um, mature audience for sure. But guys, it's really good. I was talking about it on Instagram and actually a lot of you have already watched it and you were talking about it too. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you have watched that show. It was so good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I, I could, who's that? Nobody. I could rewatch it. That's how good it was. And they definitely set it up for a second season. So we shall see. And one of you guys let me know that the new Hocus Pocus film is going to be coming out on Halloween this year, which is so crazy. It seems really far away, but guys, the older you get, I've noticed <laughs> The quicker life just goes. The busier you are, the quicker it goes. That's just how it goes. And before we know it, oh my gosh, I'll have a baby. That's so crazy. Oh, I'll we'll have to think of new costumes. Oh my gosh, costumes are going to be really fun this year. I am going to hop off here. Thank you so much for watching and spending the day with me. And I will see you guys again in the next video.